Despite the immense speed at which technology is constantly evolving and improving, there are still a number of video games that have aged like fine wine. Even though we're leaps and bounds ahead of the N64, games like Mario 64, Banjo-Kazooie, and Ocarina of Time are still incredible games. It's crazy how even when you have a Steam library full of intense, cinematic, demanding games, like Doki Doki Literature Club, and you find yourself wondering what game you want to play, that the dusty old N64 games still register to you as a viable option. GoldenEye, unfortunately, really isn't one of those games. GoldenEye was key in the evolution of FPS games, but if you've played any of those in the past 15 years, going back to this game is absolutely a chore. It feels like you're in a shootout with the controls as much as the actual enemies. This is especially true if you play on original hardware, but even on an emulator, it's not really great. But fortunately, there is a mod that lets you use a mouse and keyboard, which is absolutely amazing. When playing on a controller, I could probably play like three levels at a time before getting tired of the game, but now I could lose track of time and blow through the whole thing in one sitting, and an entire week could have gone by. I had wanted to make a video on this mod for some time, but I couldn't because there really wasn't a ton to say besides just reviewing Goldeneye while repeatedly praising how fucking awesome it is to be using a mouse. But just a few days ago, something completely new came up from a mad scientist called Stupid Mario Bros. 1 fan. If you don't know who he is, besides being a modder, I guess, he's also a big fan of Stupid Mario Bros. And if you don't know what that is, it's an awesome web series that's been around for more than 10 years, which I am also a fan of. Seriously, watch that shit. Why did we just dance all the way to my house? Seriously, you guys, I love this fucking show. I was in like the fifth grade when it started and I watched it since. It's stupid, it's funny, it's got a lot of soul and- it, Oh, fuck, right, the ROM hack. So what this guy has done, this stupid Mario Bros. 1 fan, is he's taken Goldeneye and replaced all the characters with Mario characters. It makes for an immensely comical display, seeing these unrealistically proportioned character models trying as hard as they can to look normal. It's awesome, but it's also pretty damn fun. Even though the gameplay is pretty much identical to vanilla Goldeneye, just the fact that everyone's a Mario character just makes it that much more entertaining. Despite the fact that these character models were simply not meant for Goldeneye, they do not harm the integrity of the game at all. Having played through the entire thing, it runs perfectly fine. This is a completely legitimate way to play Goldeneye. Although, one thing I will note that's not necessarily a problem, is that the game is generally a bit easier than the original. Not just because I'm using the mouse and keyboard, but also because getting headshots is way easier in this game. I mean, look at these guys, their heads are half the size of Donkey Kong 64 for god's sake. Oh shit, SMG4! Dude, I'm like your biggest fan, can you like sign these bullets for me? Another thing I noticed is that the enemy's movement speed also seems a lot slower. I'm not sure if that was intentional or not, but this also makes the game easier. Even the infamous control mission is now completable without having a fatal stroke. Of course, it's still not a cakewalk throughout. The Aztec and Egyptian missions will still kick your ass and keep you on your toes. Oh, and you won't believe who replaces Jaws. Seriously, just take a fucking guess. Fucking Waluigi. <laughs> really now? Of course, since it's Goldeneye, the multiplayer is very much an important part of the game and remains entirely intact. Not just intact, but there's actually new levels. This is awesome. And this really proves that anything is possible in the realm of ROM hacks. That said, I hope some of you ROM hackers are up for a challenge, because my birthday is coming up, and I want to see a Diddy Kong Racing ROM hack with Nico Bellic. Seriously, make it happen. But also, play this game. It's the best game since fucking canned bread.